Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Whiskey Adventures and today I thought I'd give you a tour around Copperbrook, which is my whiskey themed house right in the heart of Speyside. Let's go check it out. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. To give you a little bit of history on the house, we bought this uh, back in February 2019 and um, I suppose it was always a dream of mine to own a place in Speyside. I've been coming up here for work for the past 15 years so I know it very well. It is an absolutely stunning part of Scotland. You can get to around about 40 distilleries within a 20 minute drive of this house. I always had, had in my mind that I wanted something with whiskey heritage uh, and I remember we came up here for one day and we had four properties to look at. This was actually the last one on the list and to be honest with you we'd kind of written it off because the pictures online didn't really tick boxes for us. As soon as we walked into the place, I'd say within five minutes of being in Copperbrook, we realised that this house was the one. Yeah, when we're talking about renovation wise, that took us six months. Uh, to get to the point we're at now. Painting every single inch of the place, stripping wallpaper, I never want to strip any more wallpaper in my life. Here's Mitchie. With Copperbrook, it has absolutely everything you can imagine from USB charging points right the way through to every kind of utensil you would ever possibly dream of uh, using in the kitchen. I don't even know what half of the stuff in the kitchen does, to be honest with you. Uh, right the way through to mind, mountain bikes that you can take out for a cycle. Uh, so if you haven't seen my video on me cycling from Copperbrock and visiting four distilleries that are within five miles of here, have a look. I'll post it here, here wherever you post it on, on YouTube. I'll so this is the dining room with an amazing dining room table that easily sits six people. Then onto the kitchen. So I'm gonna go back in time here and do an MTV crib style shot and show you inside the copper rock fridge. For me, the kitchen is always kind of the heart of a place, right? You want it to socialize. A lot of parties always happen here. So we really kind of opened up this area. Um, there's all these kind of little cues to the copper aspect of it within the handles of the cupboards, uh, the tap. And we wanted this copper theme to really run through the house. Uh, you've got the amazing breakfast bar, which is just a beautiful place to sit first thing in the morning with the sun streaming through. And then we have these nice little uh, stave, I suppose stave art pieces that I put in with the bottle opener, uh, the towel holder. The towel holder was actually forks that I found on site. And then obviously the Dalyun bottle tying into the fact that it was an excise officer's house for Dalyun. So onto the bedroom. So we have three double bedrooms individually named after one of the local distilleries, you have Glenfiddich, Abba Lauer, Dal Yuen. Each one of them has got a super king size bed and they are super comfy. So I suppose with us being in America for so long, we had to go for the large style beds. After a long day exploring whiskey distilleries, having a few drams in the snug, you're gonna pass out here pretty heavy, guaranteed. We're now in the whiskey snug. This room was really the selling point for me. As soon as I walked in here, I could see exactly what I wanted to do. A place where you want to sit, enjoy conversation, and obviously have a good dram. So we encourage everyone to write down their tasting notes from what they've been drinking here. As soon as you walk in, it's a complete immersive whiskey experience within the whiskey snug from uh, the aroma right the way through to the whiskey artwork. Let's talk a little bit about the history of Copperbrook. I said earlier on that one of the reasons I bought this place is because of the, the kind of whiskey heritage and, and the background it had. So, as I mentioned earlier, Dal Ewan is literally a stone's throw away from Copperbrook. 
you walk down the hill and you come to Daoyun. So this house was built in 1900 for the excise officer uh, at Daoyun. Now to explain what an excise officer is, back in the day uh, the government realised that everyone was stealing whiskey from the distillery so they employed these gentlemen to uh, make sure no one was stealing basically. Now one of the great stories I found was uh, a gentleman who actually was the second excise officer for Daoyun, a gentleman called Ray Lyons lived here. And supposedly, the story goes that Ray used to go down to work early in the morning. Uh, he used to then get some new make spirit and put that into his flask, his coffee flask. Uh, then the guys kind of realized that sort of around about midday, Ray's eyes would start to glaze over a little bit. He was getting a little bit tipsy from drinking all this new make spirit. And then he would uh, use his dog, which was an Irish wolfhound, to help him come back up the steep hill, which I reenacted with my dog. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed that tour of Copper Brock. Uh, tune in next time for some whiskey adventures. Give me a little subscribe, give me a wee like. Uh, if you want to book the house, then we do have a website for it and I'll link that in below. Until then, Slangevar.